Hi there, Luke Ricks, 3D artist at Autodesk. I uh, just want to cover how to create these renders using uh, Bifrost, uh, the point cue shape, and randomizing the scale to create these different looks. You can also be used for uh, similar scenes of complexity, such as a cityscape. Okay, so I'm going to start by creating the Bifrost graph editor. I'll drag it down here, and also the node editor for so Shading. Just drag it to the side here. So create a graph. Just delete that. Okay, so you start off going to create a mesh cube to instance the spheres from. So something like 100 in the length, width, and height. And we want to scatter points uh, on the cube. So let's connect the mesh cube to the scatter points. And we need to get the point position. I need to construct the points afterwards. Construct. construct points, click that up, and just click that to the upper, just so we can see what's going on. So there's our cube with the points scattered on it, like so. Okay, and then we need to set the point shape. So set So the disk by default, we can change the point shape, so like quad, in this case cube, like so. We can increase the default size of the cubes, but I uh, want to randomize the shape of the cubes. Let's create a randomized point scale. Okay, so we won't notice anything by default in the viewport. We'll have to set off an Arnold renderer to view the changes. So I'm going to start off by creating an Arnold Skydome light and setting off an Arnold renderer. So now we can see our cubes are being scaled randomly. Let's put some shading on so we can see things a bit better. I'm going to create a Toon Shader and then to the emission color, increase the emission weight and connect a ramp RGB to the emission color. Change the type to custom uh, so we can connect a utility shader to it. I've got a preset of some colors we use here. So utility, this will help to randomize the colors. So out color R to the input. So there we go, got our ramp going into the emission colour and the utility going into the input of the ramp. Make sure the utility is flat because we just want pure colour and we we'll use Unifilm ID. So let's assign that to the Bifrost. Something like this. Just the sky radius to zero. the base weight so we get a bit more colour on the emission. I'll duplicate Control D, duplicate the camera and just increase the focal length so we get something a little bit more orthographic looking. Okay, that's our Bifrost graph editor. Okay so randomised point scale by default is X, Y, Z uniform. We're scaling the X, so we're scaling the X, Y, Z in, in uniformly in all directions, but we can do it separately as well. Something like this. So just to increase the max, you can see the effect is happening there. Min. Or we can scale the axes separately. So if we just want them in the X direction or the Y direction. So if you want to create a cityscape, you could do so quite easily. Or Z direction. Notice we're getting some intersections 
into penetrations between the geometry and the cubes here. We go back to the scatter by number. We can change the scatter mode. Something like balloon noise or balloon noise maximal. And if that's not enough, we can always cull any overlapping cubes and create increase that radius. We'll uh, reduce the number of cubes and uh, help prevent any overlapping. I'm going to go back to uniform separately. Maybe increase the number of points. And we can always change the size of the original scale of the sphere. So we less in Y or X or Z, depending on how you want it to look. I'm going to add a HDR map to the color of the skyline light. Create an image connected to the color of the skyline light. So we've got a HDR map here. Let's rotate that around. Let's go back to the Toon Shader. Okay, it's got some. Uh, I'm going to reduce the image, the emission, and increase the base. Uh, and click the ramp to the base color. And then increase the number of samples to three. And then finally, under the render settings, we can change the filter type to contour. So we'll give us the two edges around the, the cubes. And just go back to the two shader and change normal type to geometric normal, which will reduce the angle threshold. That'll give us more two edges around those cubes. And also, you can also reduce the width scale. The edge is a little bit thinner. So, just recap: got the cube, large cube here, which was scattering points across. We've changed the scatter mode to uh, reduce any intersections and penetrations between the cubes, and increase the amount of cubes, uh, amount number, of, increase the number of uh, scatter points, and then we can also color over the Cut any overlapping uh, points using the, the radius as well. And then got, got the point position, constructed points, set the point shape to cube. Originally it was disc. Uh, we can change the uh, shape. Which is cubes. And then we randomize the point scale. Get uh, these different random point scales and then you can change the axis so uniform, separate or different uh, directions. Okay, that's it. Thanks for watching and uh, bye for now.